Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins presented by Elite Realty Group. So let's talk real estate. Let's talk some real estate today. As each and every show, we try to give you some good real estate information that will help you in your real estate needs, whatever they may be, or someone you may know that you could share this information with. So today, talking about three things that will sabotage your plans to buy a home. Now, we're telling people these things because we've saw them done before. That's Unfortunately, right. That's right. for the people that did them, we've saw these things happen before. So we want to warn you of what things not to do. That's right. Again, that will sabotage your plans. House, do not do these yes, things. Yes, listen to what we're about to tell you and do not do these because it will sabotage your plans. So here's number one, jumping right into it today. Here is the number one thing on today's show that you do not want to do while purchasing a home. Right. And that is, and I'm going to add one thing to this, that is changing or quitting right. your job. <laughs> right. All right? Yes. Do not, in the process right. of purchasing a home, do not change or quit your job. No. no it's do unfortunate. Not. But we have seen multiple people, more than on I can count here, right. we've seen multiple people get approved, pre-approved for a home, find the home, love the home, begin the process of purchasing the home, get right before closing, and quit their job. Right. Most people that purchase a house, unless you're purchasing with cash, right. they got to have a job. Jason Fields, he commented and said, do not buy nothing uh, after you get approved until the day of closing. That's next. That's right. He knows. <laughs> he knows because Jason, he knows I harped on this. That's do coming. not do it. Uh, the, yes. the do not do. That's coming. So again, do not quit and, your and job. It, back to the job situation. And you could see this where this would be, uh, I guess, hard maybe if you know, you're know you working a job right now and you get a better job opportunity. Uh -huh. I don't care if it's a better job opportunity. Uh -huh. Tell them you're buying a house right. and your stuff has to stay the same. Right. Because right. it can change. Yes, you know absolutely. I mean? It's the change of the job your income, they have nothing to pull from. Yes, absolutely. So again, then you got to get like pay stubs for so long. You're still going to be prolonged, right? right. You got to wait and right. get this, get this from the new employer, employer uh, right. employment verification, so on and so forth. Here's one of the things too that a lot of people don't know is done, but usually, and if we got a lender friend I'm watching today, they can give you more info on this than we can. So one of our lender friends, if you're watching and you want to chime in, feel free to do that here this morning, but I think it's within 24 hours of actually closing the deal, of you getting the keys to your home. If there's a loan that's being taken out on the home, the mortgage people, they actually do an employment verification within 24 hours of that deal to make sure you're still there. Right. So it's not that you can just quit, you can switch, and I'm not going to tell nobody, we'll just right. sweep it under the rug, right. nobody will know, it's not like they're going to call my mortgage person and tell them. No, they're not going to call the mortgage person and tell them, but the mortgage person is going to call and find out. That's right. They usually call <laughs> right before the closing. Yeah, that's what's going and to they, happen. Yeah, they want to see, is he still, is he or she still working there? Yes, they want to make sure that that's happening. So again, the number one thing this morning we're talking about, the three things we're giving you today that can sabotage your plans to buy a house, the number one thing is, is changing or quitting your job. Do right. not do that. Do not do it. Yes. Do not do that. Now, number two. Let's number let two, you go on that one. Yeah, since okay. Jason's already yeah. set you up on the team yeah. and you yeah. can knock it out apart. Set me right up for go this right ahead. Do not yes. acquire any new Have debt. Have a good day at school, Taylor. I love Taylor, you. Be good. All right, so do not acquire any new debt. I don't care if that's uh, if you've got credit cards, don't charge nothing to the credit cards. There you go. Don't go to Home Depot. Bring in the Lowe's, heat. Walmart. Yes. <laughs> this, this is so Bring big in for the me. Heat. This is so big for me. Do not acquire anything. Yeah. Just leave. When you apply for that loan and you get approved for that loan, do not do anything no, no effort. No, You know, and it's so hard to do because we know you get very excited. Remember, they found the house. We talked about this right. the other day on the show. You found that perfect dream home that you want, and you want new couches, and you want new stuff, right. and you might want to change the floor and the carpet, and you might want to paint and do all these things, put new appliances. And the first thing we see a lot of people do is they go out, and on their credit card, they charge all this stuff. Right, right. And that changes your debt, what's called 
Uh, debt uh, yeah. to income ratio. That's what I was going to say. A lot of people don't even think about the debt to income. Okay, right. they think, okay, I've got an 800 credit score. Yes. I can get approved easy. Right. But the debt to income is a major player. In the in, major in the house. player. Big yes. Yeah. Yes. So when you It don't do, matter if you have an eight hundred credit score. Don't matter. If you're if you've got too much debt, right. it ain't happening. Right. Right. Yes. It is not happening. And again, the day of or the day before closing, but the same as that. Look. They're gonna, they're gonna, gonna do what they call a credit refresh and they're gonna look again. Yes. And if there's any changes, so I've seen people go out the night before uh-huh. you're closing Friday morning, here closing this morning at 9 o'clock, and they go out Thursday evening and put some paint. Yep, on a credit card. And some paint brushes on their Home Depot credit card. And when they go to pull that credit the next morning for the credit refresh, our debt to income has changed. Or it changes the score. Or it changes the score. Or it changes the score. So you want to watch at those things. Don't do those things. Remember, we're talking about today three things that will sabotage your plans to Jason buy a house. Jason Fields is on it. He should be here with us on this show. We can make a seat for him right here yes. because he is on it. He's I, bringing it. I'm glad he remembers what I told him. I'm glad he remembers <laughs> You must that. have just pounded him, poor man, old Jason. I let him have it, man. Either I that or he was paying better attention than he did when he went to Nolan grade school. He didn't pay a bit of attention to anybody <laughs> no. then, but he was paying attention to you. Right, that's right. So again, way to go, Jason. He believed me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> for those just tuning in, we're giving you today three things that that will sabotage. So three things for you not to do. They'll sabotage your plans to purchase a house. So let's fi- finish up with what we're talking about today, which is the three things that will sabotage your plans to buy a house. Number one was don't change or quit your job. Number two is don't acquire any new or no new debt. debt. You know the two things, though, getting back to that just real quick before we go to the third one, the two things that I probably see the most of acquiring the new debt is again what you just said. You go to a Home Depot or you go to Lowe's or some hardware store and charge some small things on there. Right. And the second thing is a lawnmower. Don't buy a lawn, You don't need to mow no grass till you move I'm in. You, anything that goes on that credit, a tank of gas. Yes. Is going to change everything. Isn't that crazy? Yes. To think about a tank of gas. Yes. It can yes. do that. Even, even, I'm going to say even if you don't. Now this is a, this is a good one too. Even if you don't buy it. Mm-hmm. Right. If you go and let the car company, you're going to buy a new car the day after you buy your new house, and, they and you go credit. ahead and they pull your credit. Yes. If they see there's uh, inquiry, bringing it, man, they're going to think, <laughs> okay, he's going to buy he's a car. Laying the heat he's down. going to buy a car that's going to change his debt to income. Absolutely. We better investigate. That's exactly right. Don't do that. Don't let them start to investigate. No. That's right. That's right. Don't do that. So there's two things. Good morning, Charlotte. The third thing, Charlotte's here. Well, good morning, Charlotte. Welcome to the show today. I see you've put your guest in. Daryl Messer's in the house. Daryl Messer. Ooh, good guest, Daryl Messer. Good to see you, my man. Here's the third thing. Don't move money around. All right. Jason Fields just said this. Jason. <laughs> Jason I tell you, he's on it. Jason is bringing Has he it heard today? me preach this message before? <laughs> Jason is bringing it today. Don't be moving money around, all right? right. Again, they want to know where every dollar comes from. you got to be careful. And you've got to justify that. you got to tell them. Any movements in anything, you have to justify That's right. That's that right. today. So don't move that money around. we got some good guesses, by the way, coming right. in. Diane Farr, good guess. 750. That's Welcome right. to the show. Diane's one of our realtor friends over at Exit in Kodak. Got a brand new office opening up over there. Yes. By the way, if you're in a Kodak area, she'll do your right. That's right. So again, Diane, thank you for watching today and participating, especially in the show. But again, getting back to this, don't move that money around. Do not. Do not move your money around. You're going to you, have to tell them where it comes from. Yes. And again, why is that? Well, it's because, again, they don't want potential money laundering. Right. They want to know that the money that's in your account is your money. Did you go get a big cash advance? Absolutely. For this down payment. This is what a lot of this is about. Yes. If you're required to have a down payment, there is 100% loans where some people ain't required to have a down payment. But if you are required to have a down payment, Uh they want to know where you're getting the money from. All the time. Because you can't just miraculously get the money. Absolutely. And they think, where did this money come from? Did he go borrow it from... 
title max, you yes. know, to go pawn your title on your car, and then there's your debt to income. Back Absolutely, in play. and and that that messes again everything up. That again, these are rules that these that the mortgage, the lenders, the title, all these people, these are just the rules, That's you right. know. And right. we have we got to abide by the rules. It's their game. We just got to play with. That's it. exactly right. So again, do don't do. I should say these three things again when you're looking at purchasing a house because these th three things will sabotage your plans right. to getting the house that you want. And again, at this point we you do these things the mistakes are made because you have already looked at this you found your house you're you're excited right. you're getting ready to you know you're just so excited to get your family there right. and then you make these mistakes and right. it comes and, right and up before not closing. Even, you're not even thinking about it. a lot of them that's why i said like poor old jason he, he he's out here quoting but that's what i mean that's the least little thing yes can throw the whole deal off. Are you going to completely lose the deal? You could. Uh -huh. I've seen it happen. It could just postpone everything. Right. It could just push everything back. Right. But honestly, I saw people, it just crushed the whole it deal. It crushes the whole so deal. So again, you don't want that to happen to you. you. Debt to income gets off. You can't do nothing until that debt's gone. Absolutely. So three things today we've talked about, again, that will sabotage your plans to buy a new house. And you don't want to do these things. We're just trying to lay the information out to you. we got a you. lot of people over here saying hello right now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we thank you guys for watching. We're on here right now. Wild as Kuta Kente. This, this <laughs> spilling the truth over here yeah. so but we appreciate all of you guys we appreciate you liking watching we want you all to share our videos yes. out but man we have told i can't some, help but we see have told some truth today we, we thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information right here on lakeway area real estate talk live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time, have a great and blessed day.